Hey guys, Chris here from flippingcars.co.uk and welcome to a new video series called Tips for Flips. And the whole concept of that is lots of you in the comment section below, and if you enjoy this video, do please leave a comment below, often say to me, Chris, can you give us some more tips to help us flip cars? So that's where Tips for Flips comes from. And in the very first video, what I'm going to talk about is the chip. And it's probably the biggest question that I'm asked from people who subscribe to my YouTube channel or come on one of my courses or subscribe to my business in a box. And that's about how to deal with the customer when they come along and try and chip you on the price, try and knock money off the advertised price. And as we all know, the market these days, to get a quick flip, we need to price competitively. And that means often pricing cheaper than the car supermarket and pricing cheaper than the main dealers. Also, we need to be competitive with the private seller market. So to be able to price our car and avoid a chip, because literally there's probably no margin left in it once someone's tried to knock 500 to a thousand pound off, there's absolutely nothing left for yourself, no meat on the bones, we need to make a profit. So how do we avoid the chip? And here's three tips for you. Tip number one, and that is to go onto Auto Trader and find out what the car is actually worth. Then put a sign in the window, whether that's on a piece of A4 paper or whether you've got the proper sort of signage for the window and put the price on that that car is actually worth. Now that might not be the price you are selling that car for. Say I've paid £10,000 for this vehicle, for example. The car on auto trade as a good price may say 11995 I might just want £1,000 out of this car, so I'm going to price it at 10995 for the quick flip. So I'm £1,000 under dealer price, so I'm more probably like sort of a private seller's price. I'm going to put the sign in the window at the full price. So, for instance, in my unit, if someone just walks in and asks me about this car, I can say, yes, it's 11995 but I've got room in this car to do a deal with you today. And I know in my mind that I want 10995 for it. They may say to me, Chris, I've just seen this on the internet at 10995 Why is it advertised at 11995 here? And I'll say, that's my dealer price. You've just walked in. The price you've seen online is my internet price. I've priced competitively online because I'm competing, and I'm happy to tell the customer this, against car supermarkets, main dealers, and private sellers. So I'm happy for them, if they've seen the price at 10995 online, to come and buy this car at that. But I'll say to them, realistically, I'm looking for 11995 So today, because you've seen it online at 10995 that's the price of the car for you. You can drive away. Instantly, it stops the chip because they can see you've knocked a £1,000 off it. I'm being competitive online, but if I've got a walk-in, I can command a little bit more money if I've not done the homework on the vehicle. So to stop the chip initially, price your car at the retail value on your signage in the window. And that's whether you do that on a piece of A4 paper or on a proper bit of signage. Tip two. So tip two is what we say to them is the internet controls our asking price these days. So we say to them, the internet has told us what we can ask for that vehicle. We can no longer ask inflated prices and we can say that to them. I don't ask for an inflated price of this vehicle. It's actually worth 11,995. You've seen it online at 10,995 and that's all I'm asking for it. The internet controls what I can ask for that vehicle. Be honest with them, say, look, I wish I could ask 11,995 for this car. It's worth that. But I'm trying to sell it quick and the internet has told me that's the maximum I can ask for that vehicle to be competitive in the market. Tell them they're getting a good deal based on the internet price. And tip number three, my final tip for you, back up your asking price with hard facts and data. Go on to Auto Trader, get the price off there and show them what the car's really worth. Go on to Cap, get those prices off Cap, show them what it's really worth. Go on to the Glasgow Parker's Guide, get anything you can to back up your asking price. If that car is worth 11,995, you must tell them it is worth 11995 especially if you're asking for 10995 Now, obviously, this isn't going to work if you're in that car for too much money. So the real money made in buying and selling cars is what price you buy that car for. If you overpay, you're going to struggle to sell it quickly, and you will struggle. If you ask too much money for a car, it will hang about like a bad smell. The cars that go quick are the cars you've bought at a great price and sold at an even better price. So go out there, buy savvy, 
and sell competitively. Good luck and I hope you enjoyed these new tips. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. I hope you like this new sort of playlist. Leave me a comment below. Tell me one of your tips. What would you do? How do you go about negotiating the deal on a vehicle? And why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? We're fast approaching 10,000. Hopefully, people watching this video in a month or two's time would have gone past 10,000 subscribers. So hit the subscribe button. It's free of charge. Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and catch you next week.